It's up, bro. It's Luke, and welcome to my 2024 setup says room tour. Money, huddle, huddle, gotta, cut a, cut a, ladder, orders, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, reach, water, your bitch, on a, on a, on a, on a. Okay, so boom, on the wall right here, we just got this big boy calendar. Everybody always asks where it's from, so I'll just link it in the description. Matter of fact, I'll link everything in the description. And if I miss something, just leave a comment down below and I'll add it. But yeah, this is from Stendy Calendar. And if you have a big space on the wall that you just want to fill with something, then this is a great option. I only just use it for tracking my weight, basically. Then behind the calendar, we got the C stand. And this is basically used for taking overhead shots. So think unboxing videos, me typing on the keyboard, things of this nature. This will do it. And down here, we just got my backpack, nice leather bag. And here on the left, so here's the mirror I just used to peep the fit before I leave the house. And here we got a LED stand you can see all over my room. Lighting was something I really wanted to focus on. Then let's talk about the shelf. It's from a Finnish retailer called Yusk, but I'm sure you can find something similar from a retailer near you. And on top of the shelf, we just got a bunch of tripods. So this one is actually really cool. You can see it looks like a regular tripod, but when you open it, you get this clamp. And what this does is you can basically attach this on top of the doors and stuff. And then you can get these cool overhead shots. And you know, with vlogging, I think angles are really what makes the biggest difference. So stuff like this is really needed, in my opinion. Then on top of the shelf, we got an ivy. And this is just to add a pop of color to the room. And I really like how the leaves are falling down the shelf. Then on top of the shelf, we got my fragrance collection. This is the newest addition to the collection. It's from Perfumes de Mali. It's called Percival. <sighs> smell that, bro. You smell that? Yeah, it's so good. So it's like a fresh everyday scent. You can use it in the summer or in the office. And whenever I put this on and I leave the house, I know that I'm smelling good. And moving on to this shelf, we got a fake plant. This and that plant right there are the only fake ones in my room. I'm trying to replace them with real ones, but this was like three bucks and it looks super good. So I'll just leave it there for now. This is the remote for the light on the desk, but we'll get to that later. And here we got my first ever fragrance, Dior Sauvage. If you know, you know, bro, but I mean, I think it's overhated, but would I wear this today? Probably not. Right here, I got my diffuser. It just purifies the air and makes the air smell real good. And here we got a digital clock. My roommate actually gave it to me, so it was basically free. But this costs like five bucks in AliExpress or something. So if you want something similar to this, I'll leave it in the description as well. Then on this shelf, we got my watch. I've gotten so many comments about my watch. It's from a brand called Laura V and they make these fucked up looking watches. It kind of looks like a Rolex Submariner if you left it in the oven for two hours and it melted. But I actually really like the look of it. It was like 400 bucks or something like that. So not that expensive. And it's also mechanical, so no batteries needed. Then next to the watch box, just got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. You know, my gym card, some rings. And uh, if you know, you know. And down here, we got the charger for my ring. So I use this thing called Aura Ring to track my sleep and my health. Now disclaimer, I actually worked there, but this this is not sponsored, I promise. And next to the charger, we got a snake plant. And down here, we got these blue light blockers. So basically, whenever I'm in bed using my phone at night and I don't want the blue light to affect my sleep, I just put this on. And what these do is that they basically add a filter to your real life. So everything looks kind of orange. And that's pretty much all for the shelf. Let's get to the desk setup. Now, where do we even start? Let's talk about the chair first since it's here. So it's the Irma Mila Embody chair. I used to have the Marcus chair from Ikea, but this is miles better. You can adjust the handles and it has super good lower back support as well. And since I'm sitting down like 50% of my day, I don't want to end up having lower back pains when I'm like 30 or something. So investing into a good chair is necessary for me. All right, then let's talk about the desk. It's from Ikea. I used to have a, like a super clumsy desk and I literally hated typing on it because it was shaking all the time. But this is super heavyweight. The legs are from Ikea as well. It's not a standing desk, but I've been thinking of getting one for a long time. So any brands watching this video, hit the boy up and let's do a collab. Then under the desk, we got the nastiest cable management on YouTube. I just used zip ties to make it all come together and it looks terrible, but at least you can see the cables when you're walking around the room and stuff. So I guess it does its job. Then on top of the desk, we got my keyboard and my mouse. So this one is from Keychron. It's the Keychron Q1 Pro, the wireless version, and it's super heavyweight. It weighs like almost two kilos. So this thing isn't moving anywhere. I previously had the Logitech G Pro, but I didn't like the plastic feeling of it. So I switched to this and honestly, I've been super happy with it. I actually gave one away as well in my Instagram. Also, here's a quick sound check for you. Then my mouse of choice is the most basic software engineer mouse. It's the Logitech Amex Master 3. And you know, this has everything you need. You have the side scroll and you have the infinite scroll on top. So highly recommend this if you're looking for a new mouse and it's wireless as well. Also, one of the main requirements for my keyboard and mouse was that it had to be wireless. I don't like wires on my table. Then under the keyboard and the mouse is my mouse pad. It's from Corsair. You know, it looks decent, not the best, but I got it for free from a colleague of mine. He left to the United States and he left his work setup to the office and he basically said that 
if anyone wants anything then feel free to take so i looted his whole setup basically and here we got this little plant just brings a nice color to the space then on the right side of the setup we got my headphones they're the sony xm5s honestly i prefer the air max pros but these are really good for the gym and stuff and they get the job done so they're fine for now then behind the monitor we got my mic this is the samsung q9u and basically all of my first videos on this channel have been recorded with this mic so it has some sentimental value to me i don't basically ever use this anymore because i prefer the rode wireless go that i'm recording on right now so i can move freely around the house and stuff but maybe i'll start using it for voiceovers in the future and the microphone is attached to this rode microphone stand i don't remember the model of it but i'll leave it in the description as well and here we got this light i bought it from black friday sale it was like 100 bucks and the plan was to use it for youtube but i'm basically never at my setup when i'm recording so i almost never use it but you can control it with this wireless controller you can like change the temperature and the brightness of it it's a good product but i just never use it personally now this is my baby right here and it's the most axed thing about my setup it's a 49 inch curved giga ultra hd monitor from dell i'll leave the exact model somewhere here on the screen because i can't remember it but you know the boy needs his screen space so for example when i'm working here i got my slack open right here i got my code editor in the middle and on the right hand side i got my google chrome open and i used to have like two 27 inch monitors next to each other but i just hated the gap in the middle so basically what i did i took those two monitors to the office and i stole this for myself but yeah i used it for basically everything my coding work editing all that stuff and do you need to drop one and a half racks on the monitor mm, no but is it nice hell yeah it is and i just love how it looks on the desk as well now on top of the monitor we got my monitor light and this just shows how stupid i am bro so i bought it without checking if it even fits on my monitor and it didn't the monitor is too thick for it so what i had to do is duct tape this on top of the monitor to make it stick but yeah the monitor light is like supposed to be really good for your eyes and stuff but i just bought it to make this desk light up more i completely missed my pc right here so this is what i use for editing all my videos and stuff i bought it like three years ago when the gpu market was going crazy and i got the radeon 6700 xt gpu on it and i paid like 1k for it so yeah that was a fucking scam and i never even played any games on it but hey that's how i started my coding journey and also i edit all my videos on it so i guess it paid itself back then right here we got my work laptop and this one i only use for coding stuff it's a 16 inch macbook pro with the m1 pro chip has like 16 gigs of ram or something and you know it's not a lot but it can run all the docker containers and stuff like that so that's enough for me i'm not running any huge clusters or nothing like that locally so i don't really need that much ram and usually i just keep it tucked here on the side of the desk but whenever i need to hop in the meeting or something i just move my keyboard here and i just bring this to the middle and i got my webcam right here and overall developing on a mac has been a great experience especially now that i'm working with web dev stuff i don't basically have any reason to run linux anymore so in the past i used to develop on a ubuntu system but the macbook was calling my name and all the cool kids use macbook so i had to go to the dark side also on the walls i got a lot of accessories that really make the room come together and feel more homey for example these nano leaves and all these plants and their purpose is to just fill up all the empty space on the walls and one tip for the rgbs is to make them project onto a wall so you get this kind of gloomy vibe instead of a super bright one 